I'm just glad to hear that Devin uh, is not going off to join uh, like a Britney Spears tribute band or something, you know, so it's uh, it's good to see that he's going in the right direction there. Um, he's, he's capable of anything. He's so he got so much energy and so much talent, but uh, yeah, he's... Welcome into Carpool with Ben, folks. I am so excited to have my guest on today. In fact, I did not even tell my grandmother that I was having this guest on today just for the fact that she'd probably figure out a way to hack into my VPN and, and try to, you know, to, to, to talk to my guest himself. Ernie Haas of Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. Sir, it is great to chat with you. How are you? Ben, what a great introduction. I'm great. That introduction was awesome. My grandmother is going to be so pleased by this. I mean, and 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 many people, uh, you know, that watch and have grown up, you know, listening and loving, you know, Southern gospel, that music, you have been a staple in this genre since like 1990, when you didn't even realize it, it you were singing uh, at a, uh, at a concert and the cathedrals were there and they heard you and that you didn't realize it. That was your audition. And that was kind of yeah, your, well like, that was the light the fuse you're in. Tell me about that. That was. That was, yeah. So that had been around uh, March of 1990. And I had been singing before that in a, in a group. Uh, the first quartet I was with was, a, was, was not gospel. It was a, a 50s review band called the Hootie Hoots. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and, so, and so that got the journey going with the harmony. And then I sang in a quartet called the Nobleman, which is right out of Southern Indiana, Newburgh, Indiana. But then we opened up for a lot of groups like the Kingsmen and the Cathedral. So they kind of heard me at 18. 19 years old and so they had their eye on me but that particular night um that was at oakland city university i had went there for one semester the president uh of the university was trying to recruit me to come back and be a recruiter for the school so he said ernie get up there and sing so i did i sang uh, oh what a savior and george and glenn were sitting backstage didn't get a chance to talk to him that night but a couple weeks later they called and they said man you've really come on strong these last few years you said you wanted this job it's going to become available. Uh, do you think you're ready? And I say, I'm ready. And they said, well, get in your car and come to Stowe, Ohio. So the next, the next Wednesday, four days later, I was on the bus. And the next night I sang with the cathedrals at the TPAC Performing Arts Center in Nashville, Tennessee, on the same program as the Gaither Vocal Band and Larnell Harris. Wow. So that, that, was, that was a whirlwind uh, week for me. And so, yeah, God's been good. And, and uh, he's continued to blow my mind. Well, that whole year was huge for you because that's when you met your lovely wife, Lisa, uh, yes. later on. And, you know, you guys have been best friends ever since. And uh, even saw a cameo of her recently because as the whole COVID, the pandemic thing, you know, it's been in the news. I don't know if you heard about it. Uh, <laughs> as that whole thing, you know, evolved, your group uh, really transformed what you were doing you couldn't go on the road you couldn't tour like you usually do so you created this uh series called the friday night sing which was phenomenal we'll get to that in a second okay switch back to 2003 that's when you formed ernie haas and signature sound yes what was what was that like because that was a big moment for you that's that's really you know taking a step of faith right there yeah well i, I mean when the cathedrals retired in 1999 I had a couple years there to try to figure it out. Uh, I did some solo dates. And, and then um, my father-in-law, George Yance, we kind of combined with Jake Hess and Wes Pritchard. And we did uh, 15 or 20 dates as the Old Friends Quartet. And so I was kind of scratching that quartet itch. But the cathedrals had, had such a gigantic success the last five years that I just felt like, you know, what am I going to do as a quartet? You know, what do I have to offer? But it was a lot of prayer and a lot of uh, seeking the Lord and, and having counsel from my family members. And I'm like, you know what? You gotta go with your heart. You gotta go with your desire. And God gave me the, my desire of my heart is to have my own group and do it my own way with my own personality and literally have done things that the cathedrals never got a chance to do. So uh, I would never compare ourselves to them. I'm just saying I've had a chance to be in both and, and see that there's a big old world out there and still, you alluded to it, the Friday night thing. God's still blowing my mind. When we thought we had reached our limit, uh, he shut us down and said, no, there is no limit. I'm going to show you another way. Yeah. No, and, you know, I mean, <laughs> you kind of talk about the names that you've just mentioned. You dropped Jake Hess, the Gaithers, George Johns. 
Um, do you remember back when cars used to have the center, like the, the armrest for the driver, if you opened it up, it had like a slot for all the cassette tapes. You were just describing, you were just running down every name of every cassette that was in my grandparents' 1994 uh, Mercury Grand Marquis. Uh, <laughs> they would just flip out cassette after cassette. after. It was huge for them and, uh, and, and, and so many people. Uh, and, and so, you know, you, you run down and you've, you've created the signature sound. Now you've, you've come, you've had various iterations. There's some changes in the works right now. We'll talk about that in just a second, because, you know, uh, if you can put me in as bass, maybe you can have that other guy, Paul, maybe he can move up to tenor or whatever, you know, Devin sang. Well, but, why not have two bass singers like JD did with the stamps? Thank you. There you go. What band okay. does not sound better when they have two drummers or two bass players? Like just, I mean, as much mud as we can throw in. Let's go. Yes, and gentlemen. let's do it. <laughs> but you you pivoted uh, in the beginning with the whole uh, the cold COVID thing, the Friday night thing, and you literally provided a lifeline to so many people who love the genre, love the style, really love the music that uh, that you sing and made it personal and look anybody could have thrown up a facebook live and just said oh yeah we're gonna sing around you went the extra step and put in the production value you really delivered something that people would want to watch anybody could put a video online but it's got to be watchable that's something that you did it was very important to you and you're going to continue it now with the good to be home iteration so you can yes. folks go online right now get all your your merchant appropriate items so you can enjoy that as well <laughs> no, it, it was it was no small feat for you thank you it was like uh, i'm sure you remember the rubik's cube that was popular back in the 80s yeah my mind became like a rubik's cube and i'm like how does how does this figure out but you know uh, about six months before everything shut down we had a signature sound fan retreat and so those are their most faithful friends who who carry you and pray for you. And, and, and I just told him, I said, I don't know what this means. I always try to share a vision with them. What's, what's going to be happening down the road. I, said, I don't know what this means. I don't know how this is going to happen, but I just feel like I'm supposed to have my own TV show. And, and I said, I don't know how I'm going to get the attention of executives and blah, blah, blah. But I had this idea for it. And then when everything shut down right out there on my patio, um, it hit me. It was like, Oh, I don't have to have an executive from a network. I can, put all these pieces together, each guy from their iPhone, like I'm talking to you. And then I could put it all together and create a, a TV show from my living room, YouTube, Facebook, my website. I can do whatever I want to do. Right. Then, oh my, and then it, just, then it took off, but it took us, you know, it's just like, it's like for one door to open, the other one has to close. And that was a big door that closed. Yeah. And so methods and means change, but the message remains the same. And, uh, and now literally we're singing to the world. Yeah, no, it's, it's been great. And, you know, you've been doing this for so long. You have such a back catalog of, of, uh, content that you have released in recent years. If you look, I mean, it's funny, if you just look at your YouTube channel, you look at, you know, when you started some years ago and you see a couple of videos a year and then all of a sudden you hit like March 2020, it's like a new video every week. And here's some back content and here's some some old stuff. What's old is new again. And that really, uh, to be honest with you, it became a companion to so many people during uh, during COVID, you know, time when so many people were lonely. Uh, that was huge. So, I mean, I give you and, and your your team a ton of credit for doing that because that really uh that made a huge difference for a lot of people a thousand you, you'll never well, know the number uh, it but, helped it helped people like your grandma but it also helped us yeah. because you got to realize you know part of our gift that that god has given us is to connect people to him you know so when you when you feel like you're doing that even though you're sitting in in your living room at a, looking at an iphone you would think that couldn't happen i felt his presence and the connection happening here as much as I ever have on a stage. And so that is, that's the gift that God gives us. And when you're working in your gift, um, whether you like my dad, who is a construction worker who loves heating air conditioning, like right now, if he's listening to this, he's not hearing a word I'm saying, he's thinking how many BTUs it's going to take to heat this living room in my house. It's like he's, he's, you know, but he loves it. He wakes up for it. And, and, and you and your endeavor, you know, that's what I try to encourage people, whatever you love, whatever's in your heart, that's your gift, go for it and sure. give it all you got. And then um, good things will happen. Sure. Speaking of good things happening, uh, for a long time, people have known you guys as, you know, obviously yourself, Ernie Haas, 
Devin McGlamory, Dustin Dole, and Paul Harkey. But uh, just over the last couple of days, and depending yeah. on when you're watching this, uh, you made a huge announcement talking about follow your heart and opportunities and doors opening. Um, <laughs> and what's old is new again. Uh, right. you, you got a, an old friend coming back to, uh, to, to, to take the place as Devin goes off and does some amazing new things. Yeah, so a name, uh, it's a family member, original member of, of, of Signature Sound, Doug Anderson is coming back to sing with Signature Sound. He'll start the 1st of November. Doug was with me from the very beginning. The first person I ever called when I started Signature yeah. Sound was Doug Anderson. Yeah, and so he's had a chance to raise his kids, and his kids have uh, flown the nest, and they got the empty nest, and he's at a place now um, where he's able to come back and do some things with us. Devin McGlamory is where Doug was six years ago. His kids are into so many things. And then during COVID, they created a position for him with Fellowship of Christian Athletes there in Central uh, Tennessee. And it has exploded. He's done a couple of events, major events with Tim Tebow. And, and so there's a lot of things that are happening. So we haven't shied away from that. We've actually endorsed it and um, just waiting for the right timing. And, and in our world, it's never a right time because we're always creating music and content and, and taking pictures and videos. And, and so I just told Devin, I said, hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm happy that you're on our record. I'm happy that you're on our new season of, of Good to Be Home, Friday Night Sing Reboot. And uh, let's, just, let's just go with our heart here. And he said, Ernie, my heart is with you. My heart will always be with you. But when I walk off the stage, my heart's with those kids. And I said, well, you got to go follow your heart, go with sure. our blessing. Yeah. So that's what's well, happened. And, and that's, you know, I mean, that's, and that's the fun of having, you know, this, these various iterations, you've had a number of members over the years that have switched out. Uh, there have been, it, it, I love the video because you said, you know, it always feels like the, you know, people always want the controversy and everything. And, you know, uh, I'm just glad to hear that Devin uh, is not going off to join uh, like a Britney Spears tribute band or something. <laughs> um, you know, so it's, uh, it's good to see that he's going in the right direction there. Um, he is. He's capable of anything. He's so much, he got so much energy and so much talent. But uh, yeah, he's going to be mentoring young men and women. Um, and, and he's been able to do that and, and, and forge the character of what we think is the answer, the character of Christ that he can put in our hearts. But he's a great coach, a great leader, a great mentor. And, and like I said, he can get on the bus and come with us anytime. Signature sound, it can be four voices, five voices, six. It doesn't matter. No. And so uh, you just never know. Uh, but I'm just I'm just thankful. And you and you brought up controversy. Um, you know what? Here's what here's what you do. You come together because of business yep. and then you forge a friendship. Then if the business stops or isn't to your liking, can you keep the friendship? Right. And my goal has always been keep the friendship no matter what, because business business is just it's just that. I mean, it's important. But yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the day. You want to keep your friends. Sure. Absolutely. You've uh, released recently a new album, a new record, or I mean, whatever they're calling it nowadays, because everything, you know, is you, sure you can get it on vinyl or digital or whatever, but it's uh, it's available on Apple, Spotify. It's like MasterCard everywhere you want to be. Uh, keep on keeping on is something you put yeah. together during the whole pandemic. It's a wonderful collection of music and it just really just, Thank you. I mean, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. So folks can go there. And then also you're back touring and, and you're kind of, you're right in the wave of seeing how things go. Although I will say, Ernie, just saying, the only place you can get real good seafood is when you can see the sea. Mm. So, you know, just saying, you know, New England, you know, I mean, I listen, know we got, we got the Patriots. It's fine. You can come on over. We'll love you the same, you know? Well, <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, we have not been able to get in that market very often. Yeah. So I'm very open to that. And if there's any, sponsors or promoters or anybody like that who'd want to do a new england tour with us uh you know all you got to do is is email my office i'm all about it yeah. but um we did a few years ago get to go to uh uh where's the nba hall of fame i'm drawing a blank that's in springfield massachusetts springfield massachusetts okay okay yeah. all right so so being from southern indiana newburgh indiana yeah uh, huge larry bird fan and so i was all in on boston celtics yeah. And so until I moved to Cleveland and yeah. now, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you, you've, you've realized this Ernie, but I'm five foot four. So basketball and me never really were a thing. <laughs> I grew up playing the accordion, Ernie. I mean, come on now. It's, it's I, I went with the strengths. All right. You know, it's uh, it happens, but it is, this has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you folks. If you want to learn My more pleasure. about his 
uh, his group and the tour, and no matter where you are watching this, because it is on the World Wide Web, you can see it anywhere, uh, go online, erniehaas.com. We'll link it. Follow him on Facebook, the social medias. Looking forward to the uh, Good to Be Home series that'll be coming out the reboot of the friday night sing and and as always uh you know it's 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 great to see you and uh the folks uh, that are part of your team out there uh working so hard whether you're on the road or doing it from uh the comforts of your home who designed that set for you by the way it looks phenomenal oh my wife my yeah. wife and her sister they they spent a whole day trying to figure this out and i I went golfing. I didn't say you guys go for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, it, my, mine's, mine perhaps needs a little bit of help there with the jukebox and whatnot. But, you know, we make it work. So uh, folks, I like it. Go online, follow Ernie Haas and his great uh, adventures there and, and obviously the tour and everything. Great to chat with you, sir. We will see you real soon. Keep on keeping on, my friend. Keep on keeping on. Yes, sir, my brother. Take care.